So as I can't get my uh, video editor working, I'll show you some of the death threats I'm, I'm getting here. So I got death threats by the Swiss police and the Swiss Justice Department. I received them verbally in 3D in prison when they arrested me all the time. I got a lot of mails which I gave to the lawyer in those days. Many times I even published them I think <clears throat> after two enormous house searches in Switzerland. Uh, they're probably not there anymore. They stole a lot of files. They stole hard disks, uh, USB sticks, SD cards, uh, CDs, everything uh, to, uh, you know, to take away the proof. So you can see this is my channel here. It's me, my uh, email, yeah, Swiss Torture. And as I can't get this uh, video editor working, uh, you know, it's... Um, uh, um, I can't export it to a file. I don't know, maybe somebody can help me what I can do so I can make more videos for you. Uh, because at the moment I can stay at somebody's place. Well, not only for a few more days. So here, look. This is Anfin Dorstein. Well, it's, of course it's Swiss. It's because of my Nordic resistance video. Well, the Nordic resistance guys, they replied um, <clears throat> in a very positive manner because I showed them who the real enemy is. But I said in this film, the Swiss is the enemy. So, of course, they, you know, they replied. Here, here's his email. Kamla. You see? Kamla. That's Swiss. Three, two, three. Uh, funny, eh? Three, two, three, that's six, eight, octagon, yeah. Torstein. So it has nothing to do. Look at it. There's the, you know, he's got a YouTube channel as well. So what is he writing? He said, uh, "You Jew faggot, will you will reap what you sow? You Jew faggot, you will reap what you sow." You know, I'll show the rest later. You Jew faggot, no, it's the same thing. You will die soon enough, faggot. And here, uh, the Rothschild smashed, <laughs> excuse me, the Rothschild smashed, well, why isn't it showing? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Find Horsen, Torsen. Well, it's Swiss behind it, I tell you. So here, nobody's doing anything against it. You know, Swiss are just laying stuff together that they feel threatened by me. This is lie. But they are threatening me, you know? Yeah. And it says, um, I pray for your daughter. Well, of course they don't. They're terrorizing me, you know, and at the same time terrorizing my daughter, inbred faggot. So I'm a Jew faggot and a faggot. Well, I'm neither a faggot, I'm neither a Jew. And even making videos against, you know, all the, 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 the homosexual uh, <clears throat> uh, deterioration in our society. And I have no problems with Jews, eh? So... Here, I'll show you the whole thing here. Well, here, you Jew faggot, there you go. You Jew faggot, well, you, you'll reap what you sow. Yeah. Come there. Swiss eh? hello. And the other one, what did you say? Two times the same, so afterwards I can take it away. I pray for your daughter. Yeah, in, inbred faggot. Spread more disinfos on the evil Nazis. You inbred, shit-eating, fag Jew demon. It will only cement your bad karma even more. Retribution is coming, you faggot Jew. <laughs> I'm not a Jew. Yeah. So, this is how Nazis push people, you know, to believe in the, um, the anti-Jew thing. As the Swiss have done all the time. You know, it's going on, it's going on. And nobody in the entire bloody world is doing anything about, against it, you know. I told you how they, they, they kidnapped my son because I didn't want to do videos against any Jews. I don't have any problems with them. Why should I? Because I'm, I know what's going on. It's Pharaoh behind it. You know, just as people telling me, you know, that uh, Roseanne, he, of course, she, you know, she was, um, uh, she was a, a, a playable for Pharaoh, you know, spreading the, um, the homosexual agenda and the... Um, um, but she didn't understand it. And you can see that when she spit uh, on, the, on the ground after the national anthem singing, 
how the real Pharaoh, Bush Senior, how he replied. You know, so in spite of all the Jewish names and, you know, in Hollywood and all that, the ones who are really, you know, behind the screens, yeah, uh, on top of it, wow, <laughs> that's Pharaoh, hey? So, you know, it's, um, you know, well, what should I say, eh? So, so I can finally, I, I haven't, don't have a video editor, so I just film it like a, like a jerk as I am with computers. I am a bloody jerk, I'm, you know. So how could I be a controlled opposition if I can't even understand a bloody computer and have my video editor working for more than a year? I don't have a home. Oh boy, oh boy. So I'm, I, I'm just filming the screen, the jerk that I am, you know. So this is from the Roseanne movie. I never heard in my life before, you know, two weeks ago, uh, who the hell uh, Roseanne is. You know, I'm not American. I never heard of her uh, before until she announced her true identity, you know, like writing me. So you see, she went to the ABC building in, what, in the film uh, uh, Roseanne and Tom. You see the all-seeing eye here in front of the ABC building and in the film you see the, um, the, the ABC guy, a real pharaoh. You can see that at like uh, 52 minutes, you know. And um, you know, she had to go and push that with Tom here. I like the film really, it's funny eh? And um, so at the headset of all Hollywood and all that, it's pharaoh, I mean look at it. Roseanne never saw this, of course. In the middle where the water is, is the, is the pupil. It's an eye, it's an oval, like the Oval Office. And, and, and Roseanne, she, you know, she just wanted to have a career and she likes, f f she likes fun and to laugh. That's why she probably likes my videos as well. And behind that, there's a serious character who wants to know things, you know. Um, well, she has an ability to act and, you know, on stage and all that. And for Pharaoh, that was very helpful, you know, to, um, to transmit their agenda about homosexuality and um, feminism, you know, f forget about your family and all that, you know. And, yeah, tragic, tragic. It's all tragic. I think she's waking up now, you know. So in this film here. Roseanne and Tom behind the scenes 1994 so I'm taking a, a screenshot right it's not forbidden is it just discussing the film yeah right hey Swissy so don't try and pull this film off eh, as you did with one of my last videos you criminals Pharaoh you see that no I see that I, I bet Roseanne never saw it I'll send it to her when I upload it. Yeah, look, this is a performance, you know, like uh, film, uh, like singing the national anthem. <laughs> you can find it on YouTube. Fantastic. Yeah, the U.S. president at the time, George Bush Senior, Freemason, Skull and Bones, Pharaoh, labeled the performance disgraceful. You can even see his, you know, in the film, the the life of Roseanne or something on YouTube and Roseanne's career suffered immensely but I mean if she would be one of them if the Jews would be in bloody power well why would this Pharaoh you know like um, say this because it's not the same I mean the Jews are quite good in acting you know and, and all this and having a big mouth probably you know but it doesn't mean they're in power, in spite of all the Jewish names. This bloke is in power, and the ABC with the president with his all-seeing eye. Why would he say disgraceful? She pissed them off, you know, this lady. She really pissed them off. She went haywire, uncontrollable. And everybody, you know, was looking at her. You know? And so, I mean, what more proof do you want, you know? And of course in Israel, it's also being ruled by Pharaoh, all, you know, Netanyahu. He also said, okay, the, 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 the gays are okay. Well, the Orthodox Jews hate it, you know. They even stabbed a couple of them on their, uh, on their pride thing. I don't even want to pronounce the whole bloody word anymore, you know.
because it has nothing to do with gay. It's sad. It's not gay. It's bloody sad, eh? Disgraceful. And you, and you can see that in the film, you know. It's it went apparently went all global. I never heard about it. <laughs> I had a good laugh when I saw that. Thank you, Roseanne. Roseanne, my dear. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. That was, you know, the things I like. We got some humor in common, Roseanne. <laughs> but you have to know that you were a playboy, you know, with the homosexuality and the whole agenda. You were a playboy for them. Well, I think you're waking up, eh? Let's stir some shit up together, Roseanne. Let's do that. I think Mike Tyson is there as well. You can see it's everywhere, all these newspapers, you just punch uh, like, uh, there it is, you know. Roseanne National Anthem, Boost Senior, Disgrace, you just punch that in, you get it all, eh? hundreds of pages probably. You know, so it's not the same, you know, the ones who are really in power, they are not the same as um, Roseanne's Jewish heritage, and she isn't even you know, hiding it. She doesn't hide it. But I tell you, Swissy is hiding it and Pharaoh's hiding it. Here you go. You got another proof there. She isn't hiding it. Neither am I. I'm not hiding my identity, you know, and not even my face. So, you know, they're the ones who are hiding themselves. The Pharaohs. Right? Wake up, people. I think this was the best national anthem ever performed, you know, against this new world order, criminal, Freemason, Templar, Swiss, pharaonic state. Thank you, Roseanne. You did a good job. <laughs> yeah, look. She spits on the New World Order, fantastic. I mean, why would the Jews, if they're in power, you know, as so many people say, you know, why would they spit on the New World Order? And why would the, the president, you know, be really upset about this Freemason state? Fantastic, what a woman. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> so that's why they destroyed her career, you know, she went haywire. <laughs> Spitting on the New World Order state. Hey, Swiss, hey. 